Hey guys, today I want to talk about comb filters. As you know, we have low pass filters, band pass filters, high pass filters, notch filters, band reject filters, and we have comb filters. And you find them in a lot of synthesizers like uh, Massive, you find them. Um, you find them in uh, Zebra or in pretty much everything. Um, I've got a filter here which is by Waves, it's called Meta Filter. And here you can actually see the comb filter. Um, and you can see that it sort of looks like a comb, that's probably why they've called it that way. And if I just switch this on, uh, you can hear the sound of it. So this is without. And this is with. And technically this is not really a filter because what it does, um, it takes the input signal and in our case that's this bass sound. It feeds that through the filter, then it delays it a little bit and then it feeds it back through the input of the filter again. So you get sort of copies of that same sound stacked, uh, stacked up on each other with multiple delays. So each time it's feeding it back into it, get, it's getting more of a delay. Um, which gives this very metallic, sort of nasty sound. And in Logic, I don't think we have a built-in comb filter, but now we know how it works, we can actually make one ourselves with uh, just delays. So let's open a delay right here, and we'll go for a stereo delay. And if I just use the initial preset on this, it sounds like a normal delay. So in order for us to make a comb filter, first we have to uh, switch off the syncing. So the uh, node right here uh, on the right it says tempo sync. Uh, we switch that off and now we get milliseconds for the delay times. And we need to set a very short delay time. Um, at least around 30 milliseconds maybe. And for the other side as well. You can hear that if I set the feedback really high, you will start hearing that metallic sound. And to give you a quick example of this within a sound, I'll uh, use the normal waves filter for now. And I open a reverb, um, just to make the sound a little bit heavier. So right now it sounds like that, not that good. And then with a filter, and I'll slowly increase the mix so you can uh, hear what it does. Now if we modulate the, um, the cutoff, which is actually the delay time, we can get some very cool tones and sounds here. And as you can hear, it can introduce quite uh, some dissonance. So it would be a good idea to just uh, use a tuner on your channel and see which tones it's actually producing. And you can also use it if you're feeling creative to make melodies and just give it one, one input note and modulate the cutoff to get different uh, melody tones. So that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in another video.